On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, we're dropping the skeleton and riveting the skins on the Vans Aircraft RV-10. Coming up. Welcome back to Check 6 Aviation, my friend. It is an exciting time in the process of building the horizontal stabilizer. This is the fifth installment and we're almost there. One more to go, I promise. And then we're moving on to the, the elevators and then finally working on the tail cone. So yes, we are dropping in the skeleton of the horizontal stabilizer. If you haven't seen the last video, go and watch it. It's right up there. And that's when we started building the interior yeah, skeleton, yeah, the support structure for the horizontal stabilizer on the RV-10. So without further ado, let's get back to it. This was the section in the horizontal stabilizer built where I had squeezed these rivets for the ribs going into the forward spar and I wasn't very happy with how they turned out. The yoke of the squeezer was getting bunched up and the rivets were not setting properly so I switched over to the bucking bar and the yeah the rivet gun and drove them that way and they turned out so much better. Coming up here, I do in this video, I do introduce a new camera angle because I got more of the mounts. You see the one on the wall there. Well, I got an additional, actually I got a couple of other mounts that uh, are uh, spare mounts, basically. Uh, one that I have installed on the workbench and so uh, I haven't decided where I'm going to use the other one yet. So here I had forgotten in or I had not gotten around to yet dimpling the ribs to accept the the dimpled skin. So yeah, it was just a quick you know setup on the squeezer and boom, drop it in the skeleton. Now we come to the part where we're clicking everything up and making sure that it's all set right. Some of the clicos did not quite line up, so I had to use my uh, one of my punches and kind of get them get the holes to line up so that's but that's part what the clicos are for as well there's just not they're not just to hold parts together they're also to get everything to line up and so some match drilling was necessary especially on some of the uh, the holes that uh, well no matter what I did with the rivet it just wouldn't go through so we uh, went ahead and forced it in with a drill bit. Well, we didn't force it, but you know what I mean. And of course, this whole assembly here is 11 and a half feet long at currently without the wing, the, the tips on them. And so I went ahead and, well, I had to take it outside to turn it around to flip it around and go ahead and get to the other side. It's a lot of reaching in. As you can see, this is uh, this footage here is sped up five times, you know, five point one five times the over what it was recorded, and it was recorded in um, it was recorded in time lapse mode on my GoPros. There were a number of, of rivets that. I got I had bucked that I wasn't happy with so of course what do you do you drill them out and you do it over again a lot of the footage that I shoot is normally divided equally or at least somewhat equally between 
the wall mount GoPro and the overhead. I just couldn't see a whole lot of uh, what I was doing on the wall mount until I introduced the 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 workbench mount, and so you'll you're going to see a lot of overhead shots like this. Kind of good good view of the bucking bar going in there. And of course I'm constantly using the the rivet gauge to see where you know if if the rivet is at, is set properly. Another day, another shirt. And this time we're getting Let's see, I'm not sure which side that is, but yeah, it, this was one of our uh, first hotter days. You know, it's now the end of May, we're just before Memorial Day as I record this voiceover. And this footage was uh, uh, taken on April 14th. So yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a hotter day here in Abilene, Texas. So hat came off using the the squeezer i think so oh, yeah there so that what that's the side that's showing right there that it must be the top side or no that's the bottom side the top side is the one facing me so Looking at my analytics for this channel, there's a good number of people that drop by, watch a few minutes, and for whatever reason, they're not subscribed. Hey, you want to subscribe? Great. We'd love to have you as part of the Check 6 family. If you don't want to subscribe, that's up to you too. You know, we love you either way. Uh, what really helps out the channel is watching the video all the way through, or if you can't watch it all in one shot, come back to it and watch the rest of it. It really helps out our metrics. And one of the things that we're looking for right now to really grow the channel is our subscriber count. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. And be sure to set that notification bell to show all. So that way you don't miss any other content that we put out. If you want to check up on the progress, and I know I say this almost every video, if not every video, and maybe some of you are trying are getting tired of hearing about it, but you know, keep in mind there's some vi you know, some v visitors to the this channel that may be just here for the first time, and you want to get and you know see where we're currently at, then head on over to our Instagram feed. I post pictures and videos over there as the build is going on and those go up before i'm able to put, get a youtube video together so click up there well get your phone out or click down in the uh, description below i'll post the link to the to my instagram page and uh you know get your phone out scan that qr code it'll take you right there and go ahead and give us a follow over there and while you're there Give a number of our content, you know, a lot of our content, a uh, number of hearts there too. So we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So one of the things that you'll that you may notice here is I'm not using Clico pliers. I'm using actually a yeah an a, an air tool that will open and close the Clicos. I find it's much faster. I, I do have a set of Clico pliers, uh, but 
it, it's, it really saves on the hand you know, using this air tool. And if you want to get an air, you know, one of these uh, Clico air tools, uh, I don't know what they're called off the top of my head right now. I'd have to look it up. Uh, I'll post a link in the description below. And this is not anything that is sponsored. It's just something, you know, to, I'm giving, it's my way of giving back, you know, giving information. Now, using the mushroom set, even even using the uh, the rivet gun can be a little loud, so that's why I'm wearing the hearing protection there. Because the one thing that you can never get back once you lose it is your hearing. After all, as pilots, that's why we wear noise attenuating in, uh, headsets. You may recall in the last video when, or you know, a video or two ago, when I said that the, the, a couple of the ribs had a nine degree bend in them, that, you know, that is the, those are the ribs that are right there in the center that you can see that's not, um, that there's no skin covering them. That's where that bend goes. And I did show, uh, when I was putting the skin in, I did uh, get a little excited and wanting to put the, the rear spar on. And I said, wait a minute, if I put the rear spar on, or the, yeah, the, the rear spar on, how am I going to get everything riveted with the skin? So I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, that's right. Duh. You don't do that yet, Raymond. Another day, another shirt, probably the next week because, well, during the week, I'm so busy with work that I don't get a chance to really get out into the shop. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, there's about five days between yeah, recording dates on these videos because I found that the way, the best way to keep track of my of when the uh, yeah you know, when something was recorded is by putting the date as the file uh, the file name of the video as the date. So that way I'm in chronological order. Here you see the 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 effects of the. Bench mounted camera. I, it, it's much easier to see. And some people have said, yes, go ahead and uh, use a bit of tape to keep those rivets in. Um, here, I didn't, yeah, I, I have, I will go ahead and check out that method, especially for later on in the build. Um, but here, it just didn't really seem all that necessary because the rivets were staying in pretty well, especially along the spar and the, uh, the longerons to, you know, for the center skeleton. Yeah, big oops there on the, ri on, uh, the rivet. Tried drilling it out. Um, didn't do very well. But got it out and got it riveted in and got it set to where it needs to be. I think everything is looking pretty good. Any thoughts on how my workmanship is? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. If not, then still leave a comment down below. Let me know where you're checking in from.
One of the big things that I had come across was some of the rivets were not sitting flush. They were, uh, I think what uh, Ryan from Pilot Rhino had said uh, that they were, he calls it, they were sitting proud. So uh, one of the things that I have done to kind of get this to, you know, to, cor to kind of correct that is taking a, a flat punch and kind of, instead of pounding with a hammer, I've used the rivet gun as kind of a, uh, a pneumatic hammer, but I don't give the rivet gun a full squeeze either. I just, you know, gently draw it in, let it pound the, 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 uh, the punch a few times, and I, I, I'm happy with the result, let's put it that way. You, the the trick is to not uh, not let it get go too wild. And this is one of the reasons. You know, this here we go. Yep, it's a, a good flip. You, I was doing this this process uh, one side at a time, um, one section at a time. At this point, I've got. A lot of scratches on the yeah on the primer which in the next video I'm going to sh share with you uh, what some of the other builders have said to do uh, I've actually come across a company that is purported to have solved this problem for builders thanks for watching that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one have a great day peace <laughs>